All right, everyone, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I apologize for the delay, but I just wanted to take a few minutes today to talk about some of my favorite podcasts and what I'd recommend for you guys. And so um, this was sort of a follow-up to last year. People recommended different podcasts. and I, In the description, you can see a whole list. And so I'm going to just go through them and quickly talk about them. First off is the SSPX podcast. And they have the Crisis in the Church series, and that's like 50 episodes. That's great. I mean, it, it's a really good one. And then they also have the Sacrament series. And if you're interested at all in learning about more about learning more about the sacraments, then I would highly recommend what they have to say on that. So it gives you a perspective on the SSPX. And it gives you a perspective on sort of uh, what they do. And let me see if I can share my screen here. I'm just going to take a look. Ah, here we go. All right. And so I'll take you to the SSPX Crisis in the Church. And you can see all I do is click on Browse Episodes, and it takes you to all their episodes. Now, here's something really interesting. Go to Audiobooks. They have these available for free. They have Uncrowned Him by Archbishop Lefebvre. And uh, they also have, let's see if I can find it here. Oh, yeah, Open Letter to Confused Catholics. You can, you can download or watch uh, or stream the entire audiobook of Open Letter to Confused Catholics and the entire audiobook of They, uh, of they Have Uncrowned Him. And uh, so you have the Crisis in the Church series, which is pretty interesting. I think it, it really informed me about a lot of things. And the Sacrament series, that's new. That's relatively new, but uh, they talk about the old sacraments and the new sacraments. And I think for me, I, I've had enough about the new sacraments, so I actually uh, prefer them talking about the old sacraments. I do listen to all of them, but uh, the... the when they talk, when they cover the old sacraments, I think it's very helpful and enlightening. Okay, so um, let me. All right, let's see. What's the next one on my list? Crisis Point podcast by Eric Sammons. That one's pretty self-explanatory. I like Eric Sammons. I like his view on a lot of things. He has a lot of good guests, and so I would highly recommend Crisis Point podcast. I think he's got. A pretty good pulse on things and he's coming from a traditional Catholic's point of view so you're not going to get some watered down modernist stuff and he talks a lot about the traditional stuff like I do um, he's the, Eric Sammons is the editor of crisis magazine that's where you get cry uh, that's where you get crisis point podcast and he's taken it to the next level and it's great so highly recommend it meaning of Catholic with Tim Flanders he's also the editor of 1 Peter 5 and he has Kennedy Hall on every week with uh, Jeremiah Bannis. That's also pretty interesting as well. Taylor Marshall. Uh, he was the reason how I got into traditional Catholicism, one of the reasons. And his podcasts recently are kind of like, I feel like they're kind of mediocre. He doesn't have as many guests on. And I think that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but he did have a really good video just recently, I think it was the most recent video he actually did, it was about Archbishop Lefebvre, and so I thought that was really solid. And he, he's pretty pretty open about what is going on uh, in the church and, and kind of where he stands on things, and he's a big supporter of Lefebvre, so, uh, as am I, of course. And then moving on to Bishop Strickland. You can, Bishop Strickland has a weekly show, and uh, they post the, the podcast... It's with uh, Jesse. Uh, what's his name? Let me see. Uh, or no, no, no. It's not Jesse. Terry. But Bishop Strickland. It now. I I I like Bishop Strickland. I'll say that. Uh, this the Bishop Strickland hour is. They encourage you to read the Catechism and. I, I, you know, when it was, well, the first time I heard them say that, I, I thought, what's catechism? <laughs> you know, but they're talking about the new catechism, and they talk about 
things from the perspective of the new church. And so for me, I'm, I was kind of like, well, I don't always listen to it. Um, Bishop Strickland did have something good to say, though, because he posted a tweet about Cardinal Marx just recently. And he said that Cardinal Marx needs to resign. He's left, Car Cardinal Marx needs to resign. He has left the Catholic faith. Or something, something along those lines. And he talked about that tweet, and he said, um, people, tell, people say, oh, Bishop Strickland, you need to watch what you say. And he said, you know what? If I don't speak the truth, then I'm worthless. And I was like, great. Like, I, I got so fired up when I heard him say that because that's so true. You know, he, he said, I don't, I, I'm not worried about what's going to happen to me or, you know, is, am I going to get in trouble for saying this? He said, if I worry about that, then I'm, I'm not going to do anything meaningful. And I thought that was great. So Bishop Strickland, um, if you're interested in Bishop Strickland, interviewed by Terry Barber, then check out the Bishop Strickland Hour. Uh, oh, and then the next one is Glad Trad Podcast. You may may or may not have heard of them, and if you haven't, go to their channel, subscribe. They're all they're close to a thousand subscribers at this point. And they're good. They don't post a lot of videos, but there's two trads, and they had some really interesting stuff. Uh, one of their videos, I think it was even just last year, they interviewed some uh, SSPX uh, individuals from Australia, and they talked about the traditional Catholic movement in Australia. So that was really interesting. I thought that was a great video, and I, I just I really enjoy their perspectives. And so I hope that you check them out. Uh, give them a comment, leave a comment, leave a like for them, maybe subscribe. I don't even know if they know I exist. Probably not. But here I am plugging their video. Let them know if you subscribe, leave a comment, and let them know that I recommended it. So there you go. And I, I so moving on next, I talked about uh, Tim Flanders from Meaning of Catholic. He's the editor of One Peter Five, and One Peter Five has some podcasts too. Um, th they don't have a lot, but check it out and see if that's something you're interested in. I think they interviewed Bishop Bishop, Bishop Athanasius Schneider. And among others, so they do periodic interviews, and so that's something to check out. If you're a fan of Father Ripperger, I would encourage you to check out the next one. Um, this one is it has some of Father Ripperger's talks, and so what I want to show you here is this is uh, let me get to it. Virgin Most Powerful Radio, and so that's where Bishop Strickland's uh, show is on. This is also where Father Ripperger's show is. But it's not a... You can see, like, oh, okay, there's there's some more, but I don't think Rip, Father Ripperger is on uh, here. But as you can see, in 2020, he had a bunch of talks here. Uh, so if you want to download those, check those out. But also, I just wanted to show you this Virgin Most Powerful Radio. They have all these different shows. Um, Jesus 911. I think this is where Jesse Romero is on, so if you like him, it looks like they're basically every weekday they're posting uh, a talk or a, a radio show here, and they're all you know free to listen to, free to download, so um, check it out. And you can see all of these different shows here, Bishop Strickland Hour, right there. You can download from here. Uh, if my internet's going to work, maybe not. Yep. There we go. So uh, that's that's that. Okay, let me get back here. All right, what's the next one I have? I think we're almost done. All right, pints. Okay, pints with Aquinas. I did one. I added this here, and don't don't spam me with angry comments, please, because. Pints with Aquinas, Matt Pratt does his thing. Okay, you can look through the videos, and I look through his videos, and I listen to some of them. Not a lot, but I listen to some of them. He has some good interviews with some people. He interviewed the Byzantine Scotus, I believe, recently, and he uh, about his conversion to Catholicism, and he has a lot of conversion stories. It's like um, my journey home, but it's like it's like my journey home, the Latin Mass program without the Latin Mass part. Okay. <laughs> So um, I know that he interviewed Dr. Ralph Martin, who's generally, generally pretty good 
but it's really the Novus Ordo idea of Catholicism, which to me I think is deficient. And I think uh, Dr. Ralph Martin, did I say Father Ralph Martin? I always get that kind of mixed up. Uh, but Dr. Ralph Martin, uh, he was talking to Matt Fradden. He said they, they were talking. That Bishop Strickland came up in the conversation, and, and uh, Dr. Ralph Martin he said, "Oh well, I, I'm I, I don't like how Bishop Strickland is uh, saying things that are against Pope Francis." Of course, Bishop Strickland's anti-jab. It's like oh, I, I, I'm really hesitant. Uh, at what Bishop Strickland's doing, I'm not very comfortable with that. And I, I'm like, you know what? Are you comfortable with Pope Francis preaching heresy? Are you comfortable with the Vatican Chinese deal? Are you comfortable with Pachamama idols? Okay, so Bishop Strickland's preaching the truth, and you're criticizing him because you're tentative about what he's saying. Okay, great. Well, whenever we go to our judgment, we'll see who's right. But um, I don't know that being charitable, overly charitable. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna hurt your soul if you just ignore what other people are saying. But if you're blindly, um, if if you're blindly ignore or I, I guess ignoring, uh, there's a, so basically if you look at the church, the church is on fire, say. If you're ignoring the fire, then what good are you? I, I think that's what Bishop Strickland would say. Uh, the next one, and so so Pines with Aquinas, you know, some people like it, some people don't. I like some of the shows, some of them I don't even pay attention to, and that's fine. Everyone has their own opinions. Now we're getting into the, the end here, and so the final podcast I have for you is Father Gregory Hesse. Now, Father Hesse is, I think it's, uh, I think they called him Father Hess in some of the talks. These are old talks, very old. Um, I'm talking like decades ago, so I, I don't know. No need to offend anyone, you know, but um, <laughs> yeah, Father Gregory Hesse, he was, he was sort of affiliated, he wasn't SSPX, but I think he was friendly towards the SSPX. And um, I'm trying to find out where, when he died. Um, he was ordained in 1981, and he was, I guess he was pretty close to the Vatican. Uh, he was pretty close with the Vatican. And so, so I have hours and hours and hours of his talks. I don't have them, but they are available on archive.org. Uh, for download, and okay, he died on, in January 2006, and so this was before. Uh, let's see, this was before like high-speed internet was a big thing, right? I think 2006, people were just starting to get the high-speed internet. About that time, maybe it was in the maybe it was the early 2000s, but at that point, when the when the talks are recorded. Um, he doesn't really have access, like, like available access like we do just to a lot of this information, but he had it in his head. You know, that's that's pretty significant. And he said, well, I think I remember this. Fantastic. Like, there's question and answers. There's just his talks. And he goes on and on about different things that you're like, wow, this is really interesting. And uh, so I see... Living Purgatory, love Father Hesse. Yeah, absolutely. He did masses for the SSPX, but I don't think he was SSPX, though. I think he was friendly. You know, he was, he was friends with them. Uh, and Defeat Modernism has many Father Hesse interviews. Yeah, and I'll bet you'll find most of them at this archive.org website. I mean, I'm telling you, like, if you download the first three talks, the first one's like uh, two hours, the second one's like an hour and a half, the third one's like an hour and 15 minutes. So right there, I mean, how, how long do you drive in your car? Like, for me, I download these things when I drive in the car. And so how, how long do you drive in your car? Uh, I, I play them while I'm driving in the car. How long do you drive every day? I don't know. Um, but that's how I get a lot of this stuff done. And okay, so then the last one I have for you is a bonus. Uh, now, this isn't Catholic uh, per se. 
it can be. But um, this is classical music. So are you a fan of classical music? Uh, if you are a fan of classical music, you can go to this music archive. And let me see if... Let me share this with you. There we go. So here's the link that ta it takes you to this link. Now, if you have a particular composer that you really particularly enjoy, um, well, let's let's go here. Mozart, very very easy. Uh, you scroll down a little bit. Here's all his works, but then you have to click on this thing right here and go to recordings. And this is all you have available to download. <laughs> so, oh, and there's uh, 66 more. So I don't know if you have a favorite symphony or something. You can just like, oh, well, I guess I have to click on it like that. Uh, click on it like that, and then I can download the complete performance here and, you know, accept a disclaimer. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. Let's see. You get the idea. So that, I think, uh, that should keep you entertained for quite a while. <laughs> um, who was the one? Oh, there was one. I'm going to remember his name. The one who wrote uh, Palestrina. That's it. Oh, that was, that was actually kind of fortunate on my part. Palestrina, um, he, he wrote a bunch of sacred polyphony pieces. Not a bunch, but uh, Yezu Rex Ad Mirabilis, you can download that. Uh, some of these masses here, you can download those. Um, it's a few of the songs. So if you're interested in those kinds of things, you know, if you have a favorite composer, go check it out. Free music at, at your hands. And uh, Amazon, actually, they have like a dollar downloads for like, I, I think, so I think I, I downloaded Mozart like, uh, seven hours worth of music or so for two dollars on Amazon, so it's awesome. Um, I, I'll never listen. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll never be able to listen to all of it very frequently because it's so much. But um, anyway, okay, that's all I have. So I just wanted to share some of my favorite podcasts. And again, uh, if you guys have any favorite podcasts, let me know below in the comments. I'm always interested in looking at new stuff, but hopefully this provide you with some information, uh, some helpful information, especially coming into Holy Week. You might be able to listen to some of this stuff and um, have a better Holy Week. Well, Holy Week com coming into Triduum, should I say. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching. We are the laity. We will not be silent.